So we're in the looting stage of the empire collapse where the elected leaders abandon any notion of austerity and take as much as they can as quickly as they can. 23.57 trillion and counting. They just passed the 1.2 trillion spending bill, which I believe was like over a thousand pages. You can look at some of the videos where they talk about what's actually in the bill. There was a DEI zoo, DEI zoo. Nobody knows what that is though. A DEI, diversity, what does E stand for? Equity, inclusion, zoo, okay? But the irony here that most people don't really talk about is that those of us that are going to be prepared for this inevitable collapse are those of us that are either got lucky and got into Bitcoin <laughs> or those of us that have a little bit of wealth, maybe we have a business, maybe we come into some money, whatever, and our assets are at risk. So we pay attention to what they're doing because they're threatening us. If you're young, if you're working you know, paycheck to paycheck, if you're in school, whatever, you don't really have to pay attention as much. Well, you think so, or, or you're not even aware enough to think that you should, right? Which is no fault of your own. It's just the way things are. And the irony is those of us that do some basic protections, like buy some Bitcoin and understand what inflation is and money and hard assets and, and all these different ways to protect yourself against this collapse of the US dollar, which they are hyper accelerating. They will never stop. They will never stop spending. They will never stop going into debt and they will never stop printing. Those of us that have done the study know this. And so we prepare accordingly. We will actually benefit tremendously when these things collapse. The reality is the unfortunate reality, the sad reality is that the politicians aren't going to suffer. People like me aren't going to suffer. But those of you out there that have not prepared, not done the research, you will suffer. And a lot of those of us that did prepare, the benefit we get is from your suffering. That, that's, that's the shit. That's what sucks about it. I'm not happy about it. I won't be happy about it. Like, and that's why I hope we can kind of stave this off and have like a peaceful collapse. I don't, I don't want it to be a dumpster fire around me and, you know, I can be wealthy or whatever. And then everyone around me is a shit show. Like, that's not going to be fun. Like, I don't want that to happen. Okay. I know a lot of people that would like to happen, but that's just, you know, evil human nature. Um, so understand these things. Pay attention to them, at least with this kind of stuff, and prepare yourself, whatever that means for you. Does it mean leaving the country? Does it mean becoming a prepper, buying an acre and becoming self-sufficient? Uh, great, do that, whatever, right? Does it mean buying a bunch of Bitcoin, being flexible, being mobile, having multiple passports, which is probably closer to my strategy? Um, though I do plan on getting some land and doing a little bit of prepping, you know, just enough. Not, not crazy like hope for doomsday type stuff, but just have an insurance policy. Understand what that means for you <laughs> because when this shit goes down, like it's going to be everybody running for the fire exits. And when everybody runs for the fire exits, only a few get through and many get trampled to death. Or in this case, like if you're trying to flee the actual country, the highways, you're not getting anywhere. They will be gridlocked. Okay. Now let's hope it doesn't get to that point. Let's hope we have a reasonable, um, collapse, if you will, right? Let's hope it's like, maybe not as bad as the depression, but at least in the depression, you know, we weren't really trying to flee or whatever. I don't know. I don't even know how that would actually play out this time, to be honest. Um, I think a lot of people actually try to go to other countries where it's not happening, but at the same time, the dollar collapsing is going to be a lot of other currencies around the world collapsing. So it's really hard to say how this is going to play out. Prepare yourself accordingly though, like do something.